In this video, I want to ask you to think about performance of your WordPress site before you choose your theme. So why should we think about performance when buying a theme? If you're serious about the performance of your site, think about speed before buying a theme. This is a process I did here at WP High Speed before I even installed a theme. My name is Neil Matthews and I'm the owner of WP High Speed. We're an agency that specializes in speeding up slow loading WordPress sites. Let me show you the process I use when deciding upon a super fast theme. Prepare a theme shortlist. Like most people, I create a list of potential themes for this project based upon look alone. I was thinking, get a good theme, then tune it afterwards. And it occurred to me, why not create a shortlist of themes and test them before choosing? So the shortlists were child themes or demos from the following companies. I was looking at Divi. I was looking at WP Astra with an Elemento Builder and Generate Press. Run the demo themes through GD Metrics. Our methodology for performance tuning sites is to use GD Metrics to find bottlenecks. So why not look for bottlenecks on the theme demo sites before I buy? You'll find every theme will have demos of the um, their imports or their child themes that you can look at and check before you buy. So using those sites, we can get a score and then select the fastest. So let's jump over to a demo. Let's really see the themes I've chosen through GD metrics and see which one won. <laughs> Spiral alert. I think you know which one won if you visit my site. So when I was looking for a theme, I was looking for some sort of agency style theme. So I wanted a homepage, landing pages, uh, case studies or portfolios, a blog page and a nice contact page. So the first thing I looked at was Divi and I quite like this yellow design agency. It's got all the features I need. Um, my only concern, let me just reload the page, lots of animation. I know design wise it does look good, but it seems like Google are clamping down on page shift. So that kind of animation they're not too keen on. So scroll page, they jump now to animate. What we're going to do is this live demo URL and run that through GT metrics. So we can see this got a score of B, 70, and performance of 73 and structure 9. So this is really quite a good score from some of the sites I've seen. Um, but we've got a large LCP, which is kind of full print. So it takes two and a half seconds to show the site in a decent format for users. So it's complaining about a cache policy. That might be we just need to add a cache plugin. Uh, avoid the large lip shifts. Now that's what I said is that lots of animation is something that Google is not too fond on. So, although it looks great, you might want to think about reducing that kind of animation in exchange for a faster site speed load. Long threads, JavaScript executions, and serve images in next gen formats. A lot of these things I could fix, but I really wanted a fast theme out of the box. So the next one I looked at was something from, from WP Astra, again, another digital agency style um, theme. I really love the look and feel of this one. We've got really bold call to actions. We've got all our portfolio stuff. Um, and again, this really call to action at the bottom of each page, which I was going to use for my speed audits. I'm still in two minds about this one, but let's have a look at this. So we've got, again, going up, we're into A grade uh, territory with a performance of 86% a structure of 98. So this is really good. LCP is still not great, 2.1 seconds, so there's some issues there. So, serve uh, static assets with an efficient cache policy. Perhaps they haven't, well, tell they haven't got a cache plugin installed, which seems odd on a demo site. You probably want to make it look as fast as possible. Excessive DOM size. That's suggesting that there's too many things on a page and we should remove some. Network payloads, I think they've got some big images and they've got some third party scripts that are quite big, but that could be fixed with caching and uh, minify, that kind of thing. So this is still a really good, really good site um, demo and the speeds are good. So the last one I looked at is this agency one. Super clean. Uh, it's got portfolio items and case studies and all that jazz. 
what this particular theme does let's talk about generate press for a minute they they design for optimization out of the box they make a really small theme to make it load as quickly as possible and this particular one doesn't have a have its own editor it just uses Gutenberg so there's no additional plugins like Elementor or the Divi designer to make your designs so it's a pretty basic and I'm looking at their style but let's have a look at speed speed is really crucial for this project and I need to walk my own talk so to speak so it's super fast theme and I think you know which one won so this has a, a grade of A performance of 99 and to be honest I've fixed these various bits and pieces next gen formats and probably same it is and I'm really happy with the results and here's the speed <laughs> I've even really used their images like them that much um, there's other things I need to do I want I do call to action at the bottom of each page so I'll get that in my design and add using generate press so that's I selected my super fast theme so let's wrap this video up the takeaway is test your theme before installing it or even buying it so is your site running slowly why not book a free speed audit with us to see where the bottlenecks are on your site click the button at the bottom of this page to book an audit